The defiler leans back. Thank the powers that be for that. That breath was killing me. So, you know my name. He takes another drink from his mead. The foam sticks to his mustache and he wipes it away with his sleeve. What's your name, little one? I weigh my options. Why was Beringer sent here, and by whom? Do they already know who we are and why we are here? I dangle a little lure in front of his ugly face. Perez. First name. Asher, why? He shines up and points a meaty finger in my face. I know you. There's dirt under his broad fingernail, or dried blood. A dangerous smile creeps across his face. Your drink is finished. He announces and knocks the jug from my hand. It goes clattering across the floor, spilling mead all over the place. The jug ends up against the heavy, furry boot of the tallest of the cloaked newcomers. I glance up as he plugs a thick cord into what I first take to be a giant double axe. Then I realize it's an electric guitar. What? Are they a fucking band? Hey, I was enjoying that mead. I lick the spill from my fingers. A named man from the little people. Beringer sounds genuinely pleased. So there will be honor in killing you. Still seated, he unbuckles his belt and lets it drop to the floor behind him. The sword, as long and as wide as my leg, thumps to the frozen dirt. Your name will live forever through Beringer's legend. The most important thing in life for a Goliath is his legend. You grow your legend by killing people and destroying things, and you shrink it by being defeated. You don't necessarily lose legend by dying. A good death can boost your legend and those of your nearest relatives and friends. Whoever thought up this system was genius. It has bred a race of perfect warriors. No one knows how they keep count of their legends. Beringer unties his leather armor. There are more points in killing a man if you do it both unarmed and unprotected. The tall band leader with the guitar crushes my mug under his heavy boot. Then he throws back his black hood to expose a thin tattooed face with a red beard and short cropped red hair. He has blackened his eye sockets to make his face resemble a skull. He roars and strums the first chord of what must be a popular Goliath song. The small crowd cheers in answer and the Goliaths raise their jugs to the roof. Beringer nods his approval. A good song to die to. He stands up and his chair and our table fall over, sending jugs and immortal commando girls flying. The band members throw back their hoods to reveal long, hairy ears sticking up through their black hair. I'm too far away to tell if they're prosthetics or actual body mods. But I'd put my money on the latter. They wield an unholy arsenal of guitars, violins, flutes, and drums, and go into frenzied overdrive on their instruments. The wall of sounds hits me almost as hard as Beringer's fist when he punches me in the face. The blow lifts me off my feet and sends me crashing into another table that falls over and spills drinks and food over the grizzled old Goliath sitting there. He snarls a curse and pushes me back at Beringer. I spit pieces of broken teeth on the floor and face the defiler. This time I'm prepared when he comes and duck the enormous fist he throws my way. I twist and punch him hard in the kidney, or I would have if he had been a normal height. My fist glances off his ass, and I don't think he even feels it through his thick fur breeches. Beringer grabs me by the throat and lifts me off the floor. The band goes into a soaring first chorus, and the crowd joins in the refrain. Beringer was right. It is a catchy tune to die by. Jaeger and her team are up. What do we do? Jaeger calls. Fucking help me! I croak. Right. Jaeger aims a kick at Beringer's knee. It bounces off his heavy leather boot. In return, she gets a backhanded slap that sends her sliding into the bar. Soledad goes in low and jabs a vicious punch at Beringer's crotch. It finds its mark, and the defiler howls and lets go of my throat. 